there's more than just people missing at the Seacoast Gardens Phase 2 condominiums. The beach, a portion of a seawall, and a sun deck, gone. The Seacoast 2 was the one that was evacuated and uh, eventually the city had condemned. Trying to put it all back together again is HOA President Greg Franson. The wall is back in place temporarily and we're securing uh, local contractors right now. Before this storm season, this is what the beach and the views from his balcony looked like. The views following the coal you can see are no longer the same. The beach is missing and the ocean now slamming into the building seawall. Even at high tide, you'll see 30 or 40 feet worth of tents right up here and uh, people enjoying the beach right even at high tide. And uh, so now here we are at high tide, you can actually feel the waves pounding against the seawall. The challenge for not only Greg, but several others along A1A and New Smyrna is putting it all back together again. A challenge new city mayor Fred Cleveland will have to help navigate. More storms are coming. That day is going to come. Simply to rebuild to today's uh, standards uh, doesn't make sense to me. The hope is the mission to put this beach town back together will be a joint effort. And we will be getting our fair share. Governor DeSantis has been here and we will go as a group, as a group of cities, uh, to the governor, to the county, to our representatives uh, to get uh, funding as for Greg and his neighbors expecting to move back it in is, Tuesday. Uh, I, it hasn't taken the, uh, the spirits from our community. Nearly $50 million worth of damages were caused to condominiums in this beach town, and the price to put everything back together again will not be cheap or quick. I haven't heard anyone say that they're, uh, they're leaving on account of this. We're, we're rolling up our sleeves, we're going to take this, and we're going to come out stronger in the, uh, on the back end of this. The city and Greg are ready to act fast. The hope is other agencies will as well, especially before next year's hurricane season. In Volusia County, New Smyrna Beach, Asher Wildman for Spectrum News.